Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the founder and owner of Houston Window Experts, and I want to say thank you so much for watching this video today. Today, we're going to discuss one of the most asked questions from our customers. They ask the question, they say, Jeff, what's the difference between single hung windows and double hung windows, and which one is better for me? So let's do this. Follow me, and let's talk first of all about what is a double hung or a single hung window. Now, we're in our showroom here located at 467 West 38th Street. It's uh, just north of 610 Loop on 38th Street between Shepherd and Yale. And if you're in the area, feel free to call and uh, set a time to drop in so we can talk about some windows. But we have 20 brands of windows and doors to choose from. We have great options, great selections. And uh, you know, it's, it's fun to learn about windows, right? The more you know, the more you understand, the better decision you can make about windows or doors when it comes to your home. So. What is single hung? What is double hung? And what are the differences? And so I have, I have two windows here side by side so we can compare them. This is the AMSCO Restoration Series window. This is made out of Salt Lake City. This is Pella. You've probably heard of Pella. You may not have heard of AMSCO, but Pella Windows is made out of Pella, Iowa, right? And this is their vinyl window. It's what they call their 250 series. This one is double hung. This one is single hung. So what does single hung and double hung mean? Okay, single hung is this. And only, like, you know, single hung, double hung, double hung only applies to windows that open, okay? That open vertically, up and down. This is single hung. Because only this operates, okay? Single, and it's hung, so it's hung to come up and down. This is double hung. On a double hung window, if you notice, the bottom operates just like the single hung does, but so does the top. See, the top also comes down. So a lot of people like single hung, a lot of people like double hung, and here are some of the differences. One of them is that on a single hung or a double hung, there is an option for what's called a tilt window. So in this case, this is a double hung tilt window. And a lot of companies sell tilt windows. A lot of companies sell double hung windows. In fact, if you, if you call three different window companies to come out to your house to show you their options, almost all of them would be showing you uh, a tilt window or a double hung tilt window. This window doesn't tilt. This is a single hung window and it does not tilt. It only opens and it goes up and down. So which one's better? Well, first of all, we have to understand that not one is necessarily better than another. It depends on your situation. But I can tell you what I like about single hung versus double hung, what I like about double hung versus single hung. So on a single hung window, one of the benefits is that it's going to be located inside this track. We'll give you a close-up of this, but if you notice here, this sash that operates goes inside this cavity, this U-shaped cavity track right here. So what does that mean? Well, what it means is that this whole point of contact right here, of this sash, top to bottom, actually sits inside this frame. So you have a real good solid channel where the, the, the sash sits inside the frame and it's actually a part of this frame when it comes to its integrity. It's stronger, it sits in there further, it has better performance numbers when it comes to uh, U-factor, solar heat gain, air leakage ratings, performance when it comes to storms and wind and that sort of thing because of its location within the track. Also another thing that you can <laughs> come over on this side and check this out. What I like about that is when that sash sits inside this track, look at how narrow your frame is now. This, this is a one, one and three eighths width uh, frame, okay, compared to three and a quarter inch wide frame because this one does not sit inside the track. I'll show that to you in just a second. So if you like a narrower profile where you get more glass, okay, and less frame, in the same size windows, like see how much glass you have here versus how much glass you have here, then a, a single hung non-tilt window is gonna do that for you. So, so get this, better performance, more glass, okay? And you're also going to have something that looks a little more contemporary on your house. So if you like that, you know, a little more modern look, you're gonna get that out of here. So that's, that's the single hung. The double hung, the benefits to it are that, you know, both operate. So let me give you an example. Let's say that you have a cat who likes tearing up your screens, okay? <laughs> but you want some ventilation because you, you know, those, what is it, three days a year when we love to open our windows in Houston? 
I can open just the top, right? I can open the top uh, maybe three inches, four inches. And you know, this comes with a screen, obviously. So you'd have a screen up here. And, and uh, you know, your dog or your cat or whatever is probably less likely to do any damage. Or if you have children, you know, they're, you're not so concerned about them messing with the window because you've got the top to operate. Also, imagine this. Imagine a room where you had one window and you're trying to get some circulation. I can open this bottom part up a foot, open the top part up a foot, or I could open them both to the intersect in the middle. And you know, heat rises, right? So cool air is drawn into the room, circulates, and the heat goes back out. And by the way, they've actually done studies. It really, it really does work. It's really kind of cool. So that's, that's one of the benefits. Now, here's another benefit. And this is, this is the salesman. Oh, Mrs. Homeowner, imagine this, being able to clean your windows from inside your house. Well, here's how you do it. You tilt this down, right? You get your paper towel, you get your, your Windex or whatever product you like. You're able to clean that window and put it back in. And boy, isn't that handy when you live on a, a you know, two-story house, for example. But here's what's hard about it. Uh, number one, people don't usually clean their windows. <laughs> Think about the last time you cleaned your windows. And number two, this is still a two-person job. Let me tell you why. Check this out. So let's say I clean this bottom one, right? And I loved it and I got it clean. Now I got to clean the top one. Okay, how am I gonna do that? All right, now I gotta, hold on, do that. Now I can tilt this one down. Can somebody hand me the paper towels? Can somebody hand me the Windex? And now you're, you're trying to do this. Now, by the way, this is my, uh, don't laugh at my gymnastic skills here. This is a sample window. Most people's windows are at least this big, but sometimes a lot bigger, right? So now it's kind of like, almost like your spouse or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whatever roped you into cleaning windows. Is that really what you want to spend your Saturday doing? So, so now you basically, it's going to take two people to, to, to do that and get that done. So people ask the question all the time, uh, Jeff, why, why are there such things as double hung tilt windows? Let me tell you why they even exist. About 15 years ago, when the replacement window industry started to explode, right, because double pane came out with argon gas and low E and all that, people wanted to imp improve their windows. And so think about this. If you were building a new house, right, you would uh, have scaffolding, et cetera, and you'd be uh, working from the outside quite easily, and you'd have maybe scissor lifts or whatever else is going on in the house to be able to install the windows. But when you're doing replacement windows, uh, imagine if you live like down in the Heights, for example, or Montrose, where now they have these condos that actually have like six feet of space between houses and they're like three or four stories high. How would you lift, if it was a triple one of these where you had three windows in a row and it's like eight or nine feet wide and it's six feet tall, how would you safely lift a 400 pound window, three stories or four stories high? It's, it's almost impossible. So the industry came up with something that's gonna help the installers be able to install your windows more easily. So instead of trying to lift a 400 pound window on a ladder outside, somebody came up with a brilliant idea that said, why don't we make a window that you could just, ha, take the sash out, right? Take the other sash out and you can carry those up the stairs to the fourth floor. And then on the outside, all you gotta lift now is this 20 pound or 40 pound or 50 pound frame, put the frame in. And then when you're done putting the frame in, then you get to just drop these back into place like that. Look how easy that is, right? And voila, well, guess what? That's awesome for the installer. It's awesome for the installer, but it's not good for the homeowner. Why is it not good for the homeowner? Because you bought new windows for one of the, I would hope one of the reasons is to save energy, to get good performance, to get an upgrade to, you know, the, how comfortable your house is, how much money you spend on your light bill, how long your AC is gonna last because of those things. But here's the problem, when you, have a, when you have a tilt window like this, instead of this riding, this sash riding inside the track like the single hung one did, it actually rides on the surface. You can tell by looking at the weather stripping right here. See that weather stripping? Now that weather stripping butts up against the frame. This doesn't go inside the frame like the single hung does. It actually, it's, it's, it's flush with the frame and now you have weather stripping here. I've had people tell me, I've heard it, on days where you got a little bit of breeze in Houston, you can actually sometimes hear a whistling sound coming between the sash and the frame because all that's there is this little furry weather stripping. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna exaggerate the point, right? But you have to remember your house 
flexes, it expands and contracts. Watch right here. When I start to push this in and out, look at the gap. In fact, I actually was able to pull it out. See that gap right there? This is, this is what happens on a, on, a, on a double hung tilt window. You get a lot of travel this way and you start getting air leakage coming through. Watch this one. I can even flex that, but it's not coming out of there. You see that? Because this is recessed inside of there. In fact, when there's wind pressure, when there's lots of things happening here, this window actually performs worse than when there is no wind. This window performs better with wind than it did without wind. You know why? <laughs> because when, when the wind's blowing, it's actually pushing this sash even tighter against the weather stripping to give it even better performance ratings. So under a static load, they're identical nearly. Under an actual wind load, this is a better performer. Better performance, narrower frame, more glass, fewer issues. And so then the question is, well, how do I clean my windows? Well, uh, I'd recommend a good window cleaning company because I've talked to a lot of homeowners I used to track it because when I started this industry, I was like everybody else. I was out pushing double hung tilt windows because it seemed like the thing to do. I started asking my customers a year later. Number one, did you clean your windows in the last year? No, about 80% of them. Uh, number two, those who did clean them, how did it go? Well, it really wasn't very easy because for me to tilt that top one in, my blinds were in the way, so we had to take the blinds down. And then some people said, well, I had curtains in the way, so the curtains ran away, I had to take my curtains down for it to work. And then you know, the husband says, oh, I got roped into holding the sash while she was cleaning it. Other people called me and said, I took this out like you showed me, and I put it on the bed, and I cleaned it real good, and then I couldn't get it back in. So now I got it in crooked, and then you guys had to come out and fix it. And so I thought to myself, you know, I want customers to be happy. I want them to have a good product that works well, that lasts a long time, that does what they want it to do. So I recommend, I am biased, right? And isn't it why you would want an expert to give you advice? I'm biased about this. I personally think a single hung window better, is better uh, in many, many ways. And I think it's worth having a single hung window versus having a double hung window. That's my, that's my personal opinion. Now, I'm glad to sell you any window you want. <laughs> you know, please buy some windows, okay? But, but in my opinion, those, those are some of the primary reasons why I prefer a single hung over a double hung. Now, do we use double hung tilt windows? Absolutely we do, but we use them where we feel like we need to. If you actually did have that three or four story townhouse and there's a window that we just can't get to now because your neighbor's so close, or we're gonna have to go rent a lift for $1,000 to put in the one window, it doesn't make sense. You're not sacrificing too much by putting in a double hung window, but I don't want you to be misled. A lot of companies will send out a salesman, he will focus all day on the benefit of double hung, and, and it's like it's a distraction. You're looking at that, and you're not looking at other things that I think are also equally important. You know, one of the things I, I tell people all the time, that there are two key ingredients to a successful, I'm very happy, smiling at the end window project. One is finding a window you like, okay? And the second is finding a great installer. You could get a great window with a bad installer, and guess what, it's a bad window. But if, the, if that's true, then it must also be true that if you had a bad window and a good installer, uh, you know, a good installer can make lemonade out of lemons. Well, why not have both? Why not have a great window and a great installer? And that's, that's kind of what our target is. We, we say here at Houston Window Experts that our, our goal, our agenda, would be to create for you the most delightful home improvement experience you've ever had. And, th and that includes not only our installers, not only our process, but also helping you understand the difference between windows and which one is actually better for you and for your family. Now, one last point. Double hung windows, actually, you, you just can't even get one, believe it or not, uh, um, that's not double hung when it comes to wood windows. And there's a good reason for that, okay? In the wood window business, uh, with this wood and this glass is all pretty much incorporated into one unit. This is an Anderson window, by the way. And so let's say that this piece broke or this piece at the bottom here broke. Um, you would have to be able to pull it out in order to replace it, okay? Because these come actually pre-assembled and you're unable to uh, do that. So let's say that you had a lawnmower hit your window and it broke that window 
and it was a, a wood product like this, then you wouldn't be able, you'd have to replace the entire window? No, that doesn't make sense. So in this case, they actually make it modular on purpose, so you can replace the top from the bottom. And, uh, and in that case, you know, that, that would work. Now here's what they do to, to help overcome that though. If you notice over here, in this particular case, now you actually have, you have some frame on the outside because these don't tilt out, they only tilt in, right? So you have some frame out here where this connects to help make a better connection compared to what you see in the vinyl. So feel good about if you have a wood product with a, like an aluminum exterior, feel good about it being a tilt product, that's necessary. But when it comes to vinyl, I don't think that's really the best idea. So last question I want to answer because you're probably thinking now, well then what happens if, if you have a single hung in the window breaks? How are you going to fix that? Haha, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. So if you can see right here, there's this little band, this little strip, there's like a little line that you can see the division. There's a special tool we put in here and it pops that out. This is called a glass stop. It pops this out, also known as a glazing bead. That one and that one, and then guess what? The whole piece of glass tilts out, okay? Then we put a new piece of glass back in, and then we just replace these pieces back in place. So yes, we can still swap glass on this, and it can be a single hung, non-tilt, give you narrow frame, give you great performance, give you a nice contemporary look. On this one, since that's not possible, it does have to remain where it's a tilt product, so we can exchange one for the other. Well, I hope I've answered your questions. Uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and ring the little bell so you get notifications when we create a new video. If you're going to be in the area, please stop by our showroom. We'd love to meet you and walk around and show you uh, some more of these different samples. And if you're watching this video on our, on our particular page, uh, our website, if you notice over here to the side, there's a place where you can reach us or contact us or give us a call. Again, thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a great day.